Okay guys, I'm going to start reflooring this trailer. And I believe on my first video of this trailer, somebody asked me what size trailer it was. This thing is 5 by 14. I she was wondering. It's 59 inches from side to side. So I got my first board cut. Using press treated two by six. And what I'm using is some scraps we had left over from this fence project. And when I run out of that, I'm gonna go with uh, probably go with some two by eights or two by tens to finish it on up tomorrow. There you go. This first board has got to slip under this piece right here, and it's a little tight, so I'm gonna have to use a hammer. I don't have my tripod. I'm gonna kick my leg against one side of it. Mm. Oh, it's a little tight on that end. This end one ain't good. I have to get a bigger hammer. about as far as it go. It don't look like it's far in as it needs to go though. It's a little wider down here and down here so I want some more I guess. And I think that about got it right there. Now it's just a matter of cutting boards 59 inches. Hey guys, this is what I got done this evening with just what I had some eight footers and some seven footers on the trail. I'm going to have to get about eight more planks, ten foot long, to finish it. So I'm going to get that uh, and put that in tomorrow and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, it's day two. And I just got back from Lowe's with some two by eights and one two by ten for the front. I wish they went ahead and got to a 2 by 12 I went with 2 by 8 so it wouldn't take quite as long to fill in the gaps there. But, uh, it's going to take a little longer to cut them because my uh, saw that I was using for this won't cut 2 by 8 all the way through. So Anyway, I'm going to get them cut and put in. And probably the hardest part is going to be cutting that curve at the front. Yeah, I've got the floor put in. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't screwed these two before's down, but you see, I just run up the sides and they screwed it. I'm going to put two screws per board. And then up here, that was the hardest board to cut. And I had to make a cardboard template to, to get it cut. And it was just not quite wide enough. But I don't think that little crack is about half an inch at the top. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Kind of got lazy on this one and didn't quite put a curve to it, but this one I did a little better job on freehand and all this, so uh, it probably took as long to put these three boards in as it did to put the whole trailer floor in. So all I gotta do now is screw it down and what I'm gonna do up here is I'm gonna just screw each board to each other. I'm gonna put a screw like here and here and over here, one in there. Maybe might put three in this one, you know, and then once I pick up this two before, it'll all get screwed down to it. And uh, yeah, I only had one really bad board in here and this two before right, I mean two by six right here and my foot's on it's kind of warped it's been laying on the trailer for a few months so but uh, I wish I'd went ahead and just put all two baits in here they look so much better and uh, 
all about the same color too. Notice some of these boards are darker. These light boards, I believe, are Home Depot boards. They're either Home Depot or Lowe's, and the other one's the other. So we bought from both places. So I can't remember. I think the light boards may have come from Lowe's and the dark boards from Home Depot, but either way, difference in uh, the, I guess the darker they are, the more uh, chemicals they got in them or something, I don't know, but anyway, get these screwed down and show what it looks like. Okay, yeah, guys, I wanted to show y'all what uh, screws I'm using. These are exterior screws. You don't want to use uh, any kind of screw but exterior coated. These are two and a half inch screws. Uh, <clears throat> I like those because they don't go through. I can countersink them a little bit and they still won't go through the bottom board. Three inch screws might actually go into the metal on the end of them and then you'd have some rust. So two and a half or two and three quarters would be good. Okay hey guys, we got it finished. All of them screwed down. Goes down to each other. And all the way down through here. Two per board except for the last board. And the reason I didn't screw it down but once is because this plate's holding it down. So that right there, that board really anchors everything. And I don't think they have no trouble. We're falling through no time soon. I really like these two by eights a lot better than these two by sixes. They don't they don't uh, bend and as much. These have got a little bit of bounce to them. These two by sixes do so. But other than that, I wish I think I'm gonna uh, I might get some caulk and caulk down the sides of these planks. I really wish they had continuously welded this plate up here because that's basically sandwiched, sandwiched in. You got a plate on the outside and a plate on the inside, and it gets urine down in there. It's going to just continuously rust. And uh, but the only thing I can do really is take some silicone, I guess, and run between the bead, the weld there. And, Try to seal it up front too, a piece across the bottom. And, uh, yep. I think she'll be ready to haul a calf it's tomorrow. We'll get up a little bull calf and take it to the sale. Been needing to get them up for a month. But, anyway, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe.